The new tower would be almost twice the height of the old one, meaning more extensive foundations. For a building this size, the standard approach would be to drill deep down into high quality bedrock, or create shallower but wider deep pile foundations. But with two subway lines stacked just beneath the ground floor, this wasn't an option. Now, for the tower to get planning permission in the first place, it had to agree to create a new public plaza at street level, and Foster and Partners saw this as a way to kill two birds with one stone. Because of the subway, engineers were forced to use many of the same footings as the original building's foundations, which consisted of shear walls running alongside the subway. To take the enormous weight of the building, these shear walls were reinforced with pile foundations underneath. The ground floor of the building was raised up onto a tabletop structure, which created the public area at ground level. This was propped up by a series of dramatic V-shaped columns, directing the immense weight of the skyscraper down onto those carefully placed foundations underneath. 